Naples needs to be dead soon. Otherwise, your little family won't be safe. I'm gonna put a bullet in his head. <laughs> What's it like uh, being Tommy and having to, I guess, almost plausible deniability? Because I'm sure everybody's asking what's gonna happen in season mm -hmm. three. Well, I think one of the great things about Tommy that the writers have done, Courtney um, A. Kemp, our show's creator and uh, head writer, uh, especially, has given Tommy so many uh, wonderful puzzles to put together. And I think we're at a brand new place in Tommy's life where he's obviously having to not only steer the ship, but also uh, utilize the rudder at times. So he's, he's, he's not only the captain, but he's also the crew right now. And he has to rebuild this crumbling empire, put it together now that he and Ghost have parted ways and he's been given an ultimatum to kill Ghost or have himself and this family that he's been trying to set up to mimic the most important thing in his life, which was the uh, St. Patrick family. Um, and to either, you know, it's at a point of Tommy's life where it is either sink or swim. And I think the every the entire audience knows that uh, Tommy is a fighter. He's a wonderfully complex character. Yes. So um, I guess how challenging is it to portray him? It's a it's a great challenge. Um, I think any character, anybody who really loves to be an actor, is you want somebody that's fully three dimensional, somebody that not only gets angry um, that we that Tommy is uh, very famous for, but also somebody who we watch him be tender. What's that like? How awkward is it? Um, what was falling in love like for Tommy? Everybody gets so mad at Tommy with that pillow talk. What's he doing with Holly? Why is he being like this? And I think that one of the reasons people stick with him is because they can see themselves in love at times. And we do a lot of stupid things when we're in love. I guess, um, what's it like when you, I guess, when you get the script and um, do you say, okay, I need to hit this note or you say maybe that doesn't sound like Tommy? Like It depends. You know, sometimes it depends what actor I'm with. Oftentimes, if it's with um, Omari Hardwick, he's such a gifted actor and he's such a listener and responder that um, I just show up with the lines memorized. And it just, it just comes. And that's probably the most fun way to do it. Um, I also operate that way with uh, Lucy Walters, who plays Holly, uh, oftentimes. But you know, she and I get together on our own time and, and rehearse, talk it out. You know, she's a very studied theater actor, and we both have very extensive theater backgrounds. So we kind of we, we do we do a little uh, you know uh, plotting in the script and a little script analysis. Yeah. Um, and the scripts are so beautifully written. Uh, Courtney Kemp and her entire room of writers are just really phenomenal and have only grown, so that's why the story is able to get so much more complex. I love the dynamic between Tommy, Tasha, um, and um, Ghost. Um, do you guys kind of like get together and say, this is how we're gonna tackle a scene, or? Well, we're three very different actors. I think when we all show up on set, um, we collaborate at that point. Um, and then also listen to the directors. We've had some really fantastic, incredible directors from Michael Bassett, uh, Sandy Bookstaver, Rob Hardy, uh, George Tillman, just really excellent people who have really created this show. And um, it's a very collaborative environment. Can you comment on the, the social media impact? Uh, social media impact has been huge. Uh, uh, Incredibly huge, yeah. It's, uh, I mean, our viewership is, I believe we came in at the combined numbers of like 6.9. Curtis 50 Cent Jackson, um, you know, the brains behind the operation along with Courtney uh, Kemp, is such a smart, um, creative person that he's really utilized all of uh, the media manipulation that he's so good at <laughs> to uh, stimulate, talk about the show. And sometimes, even in season one, I would say, well, they may, you might come for 50, but you stay for the show. And, um, and really, Omari Hardwick as our, uh, as our lead and our number one uh, has done a phenomenal job with uh, carrying this show. I know you can kill ghosts. Do it for me.